Welcome back in our national lead. The Obama administration sending a clear message to all public schools across the nation. Let transgender students use the bathroom of their choice or else. The guidance issued today not only requires schools to actively enforce anti-discrimination policy, but also hints that schools which do not comply could put their federal funding at risk. Let's bring in CNN correspondent Martin Savage. Martin, this guidance doesn't really carry the force of law exactly. The question is, though, will the schools implement these guidelines? Hey, John. Well, that probably depends on the state in which those schools are located. And what I mean by that is that, you know, these guidelines were only issued this morning. But here in the South especially, the reaction has been fast and furious. The joint letter from the U.S. Departments of Education and Justice went to 13,500 public school districts across the country, directing them to allow transgender students to use bathrooms matching their gender identity. Schools have a responsibility to provide a safe and non-discriminatory environment for all students, the letter says, including transgender students. Though the guidance has no legal weight, it contains an implicit threat. Districts could lose federal funds or face lawsuits if they don't comply. This goes against the values of so many people. It has nothing to do with anyone being against a transgender child. Undo! HB2! Undo! HB2! In a number of states, the order is triggering outrage. The lieutenant governor of Texas accusing the Obama administration of social engineering and telling Texas superintendents not to implement the guidelines. He can keep his 30 pieces of silver. We will not yield to blackmail from the president of the United States. The administration is already involved in a legal standoff with North Carolina over its so-called bathroom law, requiring transgender individuals to use the bathroom according to their sex listed on their birth certificate. We believe a court rather than a federal agency should tell our state, our nation, and employers across the country what the law requires. Refusing to back down, North Carolina's governor is suing the federal government, which turned around and sued right back, calling the state's law discriminatory. It was not so very long ago that states, including North Carolina, had other signs above restrooms, water fountains, and on public accommodations, keeping people out based on a distinction without a difference. For many school districts, the transgender guidelines come just as the school year is ending. But they appear to be triggering a battle that is just beginning. Getting back to Texas, John, the uh, lieutenant governor there is saying if they have to, they will forego all federal funding. They are serious about this. And they point out, by the way, that most of the money...